Hi and welcome to this video. Today we'll be looking at how to make sure the Python interpreter in VS Code recognizes your Anaconda virtual environment in your code. So I have a demo project set up and we can take a look. And we can open this project using code by saying code dot to say this directory. And we can take a look at some of the imports that we have. So while this is loading, we'll take a look at the bottom. So you see we are loading the Python extension and we can also look at the Python interpreter selected at the bottom left here. So we're using base, Anaconda's base environment and which we will see I don't actually have PyTorch installed so um, the code should highlight it and say it's an unresolved import there. So it shows you these yellow squiggly lines and so far for a very long time I've been ignoring this problem because even though they underline it as unresolved import, if you run the code in your terminal in the correct environment, you won't get any errors. So if I activate the correct environment and run the code, everything will be fine. But it's just a bit annoying to always see the um, yellow squiggly lines underneath your imports. And it also shows up in yellow on the left side sidebar. So one way to just um, verify whether you have the package installed is to do pip freeze and we can grab for torch and you, we should expect nothing because I haven't installed PyTorch in this base environment but I do have it installed so I can activate my real virtual environment which is ML and we do the same command we will see that we have PyTorch installed and you can test this out for other libraries as well transformers spacey so I don't have these libraries installed in ML, in uh, base. So we can see we have it in ML. Transformers as well as base C. But because they don't exist in my base environment, they still show up as errors. So you might think at this initially if you change your environment in your terminal, it will also activate in your code editor, but no, it doesn't work that way. And the way we can tell is because at the bottom left, we still see that the base environment is activated. So to solve this, we will change this and select the environment that you have your packages installed. So in this case, ML. And if you wait a while, you'll see that the, these errors disappear and everything is fine. And as an addition, you also see in the sidebar, we have created this uh, VS Code folder. Inside, we have a settings.json, which is actually pretty important if you open it up you see that we have set the Python path to the path of our virtual environment so in this case it's ML and this is important because if you exit and enter again you would expect the same ML environment to be activated so we can test that out run the code and see if we get the same errors and if you look at the bottom left, we wait for the environment to load. First, it loads the Python extension, and then we have our ML Conda environment activated. And we still don't see any errors, which is great. But one thing you might notice is that we still have the base environment activated in our terminal as seen here. Now this, you can change in your batch profile settings on your Mac, but one easy way we can get around this is looking at the right side, we can create a new terminal and we will see that the um, environment actually updates to the one that we are using for this project. So that's it for this video. If you liked it and found it useful, do share it with anyone who is facing the same issue. Thanks for watching.